No one knows where this is going, but it's certain this is a dangerous moment, the worst Middle East crisis in a generation. Until last weekend, Israel believed the long conflict with the Palestinians. This is the incident that took place between the Palestinians and Israel. And we're going to be checking out this clip of what is going on and how people are crying for their loved ones. And also the Imam gave a powerful message to the Muslim and to the people they are facing these difficulties. Let's check it out. More than a million people have been warned to move south after several days in which the Israeli Defense Forces have been massing on the border ahead of an expected ground offensive into Gaza. Palestinians call it the catastrophe. Hamas sent their answer, more rockets, and told people to stay put. At the UN, the Secretary General told both sides to protect civilians. Even wars have rules. International humanitarian law and human rights law must re be respected and upheld. Civilians must be protected and also never use the shields. It feels as if this crisis is going up a gear. Extreme pressure on civilians in Gaza. Tension here in Jerusalem. No one knows where this is going, but it's certain this is a dangerous moment, the worst Middle East crisis in a generation. Until last weekend, Israel believed the long conflict with the Palestinians could be contained. That illusion has gone. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Jerusalem. Well, tonight, the Palestinian United Nations envoy appealed to the UN to do more to stop a crime against humanity as Israel prepares for a possible ground assault into Gaza. Fuel, food and water supplies are running out in the territory, but Israel says it won't lift its blockade until Hamas frees all the hostages it seized last Saturday. For three days, he says, I didn't go home. But it never stops. For some, it's all too much. Inside the hospital in the town of Rafa, I want my daddy, she cries. More than 85% of injuries are among women and the children. Allah is with you. We have seen some Muslim countries, as of today, supporting Israel over the fellow Muslims. We have seen some Muslim countries condemning Muslims who are being killed, women, children, elders, massages being bombarded. And you see Muslim countries still, not even regarding the prisons of Muslims. If they were not Muslims, who should have supported them? Because they are innocent. It is their properties, their lands. And you can never target civilians. You should not do that in Islam. But this is a condition of the Ummah. If Allah distributes victory simply because you say I'm Muslim, but that, that is not true. And that's why during the life of the Prophet Sallallahu the one time that the Ummah, a group of the Sahaba, they neglected the command of the Prophet Sallallahu immediately they lost. Even though Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was in their midst, it's a message from Allah. You fulfill what Allah has commanded you. You abstain from what Allah has forbidden you. Allah delivers victory. But over the Romans, over the Persians, over the communists, over the capitalists, over any power on earth, it's as simple as that. And don't forget when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said uh, that you will be tested as believers as those who were before us were tested. Indeed, Allah's victory is near. You need to be patient, and you need to study the seerah. If you study the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ, from the day that he was commissioned with the prophethood to his death, you would never need to ask this question. Barakallahu feekum. But 
I would like to take advantage of this question and ask you all to keep praying for our brothers and sisters. Last Sunday, I asked you to fast on Monday, and at the time of breaking your fast, to pray for the Palestinians, to pray for those the custodians of Al-Masjid al-Aqsa, those who are guarding our first Qibla. Ask Allah to help them and support them. Oh, man. I'm so, I'm so sad. This is heartbreaking, guys. This is so heartbreaking. Me watching this clip, this is not even the full video of the of this particular clip. I had to, you know, remove some disturbing parts. <sighs> the fact that little children died, the fact that I'm speechless. There was one part that a little girl was crying. I want my father. I want my father. That was so sad to watch, guys, because I wonder what they are going through. I wonder how they are surviving over over there. It's time for freedom. I pray Allah protects, keep protecting and guiding them because there's no words I want to say that will stop or would change what has happened. Like the UN secretary said, he said that all what he wants is peace so that all the civilians can be saved. He wants everybody to be at peace with, with each other. That's all I want. That's what I wish for each and every one of them, both the Palestinians and the Israel. Let there be peace. Let this old, old, let this bloodshed stop. Watching this news really broke my heart. The fact that a man had to hold his five years old child dead in his arms is so, so heartbreaking, guys. It's so heartbreaking. Like, <sighs> it is well. Allah will see them through. Allah will fight their battles. And I love what the Imam said, encouraging the Muslims to, you know, to be steadfast, not to lose hope, to keep trusting in God and in Allah. And I know God will see them through. Freedom, freedom, freedom is near and peace is near i really wish the rest of the people well and i pray god protect them from all evil and dangers it is well that's all i can say hoping all this end as soon as possible all is well my heart goes to you know, the lost ones, may their soul continue to rest in peace. And those ones fighting for survivor, God, Allah will protect them all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.